Right, in this video we want to look at drawing the scatter diagram in Insight Light and getting the details about that equation. So, first off, remember in Insight Light we have to, we automatically default back to the first variable being in the data set and when we come to do bivariate we need to put our response variable in as the first variable and our explanatory variable in as the second variable. So I've got the Australian Institute of Sport data in here already. I want to look to see if the number of red blood cells affects the amount of haemoglobin that the person has. So I'm going to choose to look at haemoglobin as my first variable because that's going to be my response. And then when I put the red blood count in as my second variable, my graph was drawn correctly. Okay, so there's my graph and that's my scatter diagram and I can use that to make the visual comparison. Okay, so I'd automatically be saying things along the lines of as the amount of red blood count increases, the amount of hemocratin also tends to increase. Oh, so hemoglobin also tends to increase. Now, I also want to be able to fit a line of best fit in here. So that is under the advanced options. And when I click on that button, it opens up a new window on the side. So one of my options is to change my graph appearance. And in there, I get to add trend curves. So I'm going to tell it that I want to add a trend curve. And I'm most likely going to want to add a linear curve. So now by clicking on that, I've now got my trend line of up appearing on my graph. There isn't anything else really that I want to do in there. So now I'm going to turn off my advanced options. Okay, but my linear trend line is still there. One of the things that I might want to do is I might want to get some information about this and now by clicking on the summary button, I get the equation of my line, okay? And so that gives me a way of looking at my information. So it gives me my spin's rank correlation by the looks of it, and it gives me my equation of the line. The last thing I might want to do is I want to see how gender affects this. So now I can get two different graphs. Okay. And now I can compare males and females equations and see if there's much of a difference. So there you go. That's pretty much everything you're going to need to be able to do for bivariate data in this video. Okay. Remember, we are in generally looking for visual interpretations of what you can see, and we want reasons and we want evidence of why you think that. So try and think about when you're phrasing what you notice to try and cover those bases. Until next time.